it's me here and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm so exci super excited like i cannot contain my excitement right now so as you guys know if you'd watched my haul video for the month of february at the beginning of that video i announced that i was doing a collaboration video with caitlin and tiffany so today i have received my package from Caitlin so one of the kind of things that we decided to do for our collaboration we wasn't quite sure if we wanted to do like um, a recommendation video with each one of us doing a different genre um, we wasn't quite sure what to do so we ended up doing a manga swap box so for me each one of us had um, one to send to so for me mine um box was for tiffany and then tiffany's box was for caitlin and then caitlin's box was for me and we all chose a different theme for our box or a theme for our box that we were kind of lacking in our collection for and something that we wanted to explore a little bit more if that makes sense so for me i i like shonen and I haven't really delved a whole lot into that genre. Most of my collection is shoujo. So I asked if my box could be themed around shonen. Tiffany's was shonen and then Caitlin's was shoujo. So Caitlin has got the best person to pick. Like Tiffany knows her stuff with shoujo. She has an amazing amount of shoujo and amazing taste in shoujo series so Caitlin is going to be super happy with that i have no doubt but for me i chose shonen so i'm super excited in fact i don't know why i'm rambling because the box is right in front of me and i'm way too excited i mean look at this box <laughs> so i'm gonna try and open this with my trusty pair of scissors if i know where i put them right here and we'll see what what we have what Caitlin has chosen if I can open the box girl you have taped this box down good to be fair though with with Tiffany's I duct taped the shit out of it as well to be honest so <laughs> we kind of were on the same page here but I'm super excited to see what she's got like I have no idea I have no idea I literally but I didn't have a wish list or anything. Like Caitlin and Tiffany both had kind of like wish lists of stuff that they're interested in. I kind of haven't, or I didn't have a wish list because I'm kind of, I don't know, there's not really, I would say there's not really many that I really, really, really want. It's not that, it's just that Shonen isn't necessarily a genre that i read or i'm kind of selective if that makes sense or does that make sense i don't think that makes sense i'm not really selective because i like both shoujo and shonen but, <laughs> but yeah i'm not familiar with a lot of shonen if that makes sense i'm i'm more familiar with shoujo and dark like uh, dark fantasy kind of shoujo but yeah okay so this is the box oh, i'm so excited <laughs> i saw it downstairs on the porch i was like oh my god i've got to film this today there's no way i can wait like seriously it looks like we've got a letter and so much bubble wrap that literally an atomic bomb couldn't blow this thing up like it wouldn't do any damage so <gasps> oh my god okay i'm going to do the letter first this is so cute i love the washi tape <laughs> it's like christmas guys what the frig okay girl your like handwriting is gorgeous mine's a freaking mess okay let me have a quick read dear Amanda, welcome to your manga box filled to the brim with shonen goodness i sure hope you enjoy the series i picked at uh, picked out for you if you don't that's okay too i'm sure i'm going to like them I'm sure. I trust you. I trust your picks. You have an amazing collection, so I trust you. <laughs> if you end up 
hating one of these it's no worries i won't mind that's slightly the point isn't it this is true this is true <laughs> With the series I had chose for you, I try to stick to vaguely low volume counts so I'm not getting <laughs> you to commit to really super duper long series. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I kind of appreciate that. Oh, that's, that is good. That is good. If you haven't gone through your goodies, stop here so you don't get spoiled. Okay, okay, I'll stop here. Oh my god, this is so exciting! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Reese is in this room, in the room while I'm unboxing this, so he probably thinks I'm no. some sort of weirdo. But yeah, okay, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. What have we got for the first one? <laughs> oh, Junie Tyson, Zodiac War. Oh, this one is... Um, really really dark battle like battle royale type series i've heard so much about this holy shit what the frick i'm super excited about this this seems like it's gonna be right up my street like holy god oh my god what the frick look i've just opened it up and somebody's got decapitated this seems like it's gonna be a really interesting series Let's read what it says on the back. Okay, this sounds pretty sick. I am super excited to have a look at this one. I kind of, I reckon I'm going to read this tonight. Oh, it's got a colour page as well. This with their colour pages. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh, I think it's only two volumes, right? And I think it's complete. So that is oh juni tyson sorry if you can hear the uh sirens going on outside i think that's an ambulance yeah that's an ambulance but oh my god i shall pop it let's pop the letter there and then i'll finish i'll read it after that okay so the next one oh it's the second one is this the final one i think it is oh look at the cover guys like for real what the frig is so cute cute and dark at the same time i love it oh my god okay i don't want to flick through it i'm going to show you the colored page oh i love these color pages by viz i wish viz would do more color pages like this holy crap like oh, i'm so excited <laughs> this is volume two. Oh, i like the spines as well one's like red and one's black and the bottom's like opposite if that makes sense hmm good choice i like this okay let's go on to the next one okay i kind of spoiled myself i think i've just seen one. Oh no <laughs> okay this one is packaged separately i don't want to look <gasps> okay so <gasps> eden zero by hero mashima oh my god literally i've i've been wanting to check this out for like ages this is by the same creator or as fairy tale yeah fairy tale and i watched the anime for fairy tale and really enjoyed it i have read rave master as well and that was a really fun series haven't finished reading or watching the fairy tale anime but this looks so up my street like this girl looks like lucy right and that's definitely happy but, but and like this is a black head nut suit i know guys i know all the memes and all that stuff but this is like a sci-fi shonen adventure or from what i've heard it's kind of like centered around space and stuff like that so i'm super excited okay i want to read the um synopsis oh. Here at the park's front gates. I don't know what's going on outside, guys, but that is the second ambulance in the last five minutes. So hopefully everything's okay out there because I have no idea what's going on. Okay, this sounds super duper interesting. I don't think I've read a series about space looking around i don't think i have one about space so this is gonna be like a new type of genre for me being in space i'm super excited about this and the art 
by Hiramashima as always is really nice. I'm kind of curious to see if, oh sorry my ring light is kind of in the way there, I hope you guys can see that. Um, I wonder if there's going to be like a little bit of fan service because I know that Hiramashima kind of thrives on that, especially with Lucy from um, fairy tale but yeah this is another one of the color pages i'm so freaking excited for this one. Oh my god three out of three definitely two series three out of three. Oh my god i'm yes 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 <laughs> that's bubble wrap for that one so let's go for the next one or oh, it's bubble wrap as well okay what is it <gasps> shut up Moriarty the Patriot, holy <laughs> I literally was gonna get this this month, like no joke, I literally was gonna pick this up. This looks like it's so up my alley. It's set in the, um, oh, it's set in England, like in, I'm trying to think of what period it is, but I can't think off the top of my head, but it's kind of a take on uh, the Sherlock Holmes kind of stories. So I am super excited to actually dive into this. Oh my God, I am so grateful. Thank you so much, Caitlin, because I was literally gonna get this next month. This is ridiculous. I think I've read like the first chapter online and really enjoyed it. You guys know that if it's anything kind of historical or has that sort of like oldie worldy kind of a film where it's set in a period of time in the past, you guys know that I really enjoy that. And it's in England, it's set in England. So I am mega 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 super excited for this one but let me just read the synopsis for anybody that's not aware what this is about so this sounds amazing and i have read the first chapter and in some instances i kind of can understand where the main characters coming from he's living in a world that's like unjust with different classes of society being treated differently and I'm just really really interested to see what happens in this series like I am so so excited for this one I cannot wait I want to show you guys some art other than the front cover because obviously the art is gorgeous I know this has got an anime to it so let me just see if I can get there we go that's the art for you it just looks super super interesting like super dark I love a dark shonen and I don't think it's gonna be like an action like shonen so I am super excited by this <laughs> so definitely Winning so far, Caitlin. Definitely winning. Okay. So we've got whoo, packaging. Oh no, it's stuck on my hand. More bubble wrap. We love bubble wrap. <laughs> okay, so the next one. Oh my god, this video is 15 minutes long. This is okay though. I don't care. <laughs> so oh. So the next one is <gasps> oh my god yes this is another win <laughs> caitlin you are smashing it out of the park i am so excited for this i watched season one of the anime and part of season two and i absolutely love this series this is by tony Volante. it's a french mangaka oh my god this is so so good the art is good i know that tony Val is it valentine Valentine, I think it's Valentine, was heavily influenced by the likes of Fairy Tale and One Piece when he was doing this series. But the art is absolutely gorgeous. The anime was really good. So I'm super excited about this and I can't believe that I got volume one. I'm so happy because I was literally contemplating picking it up. But oh my god, this is so so good. <laughs> I'm going to read the synopsis again. This, this is so good. I am literally so excited for this. I think there's like 
10 or 11 volumes out already and i'm not sure if it's complete in france but this is so so good the art is gorgeous and honestly for anybody that's hating on this series because it's not written by a japanese mangaka i think that's like kind of unfair just because it's not written by a japanese mangaka doesn't mean it's not good this was a really good watch and i cannot wait to read it the art looks gorgeous oh, i'm just so excited so yay <laughs> so next up oh ooh, this feels different this feels matte okay i don't know if i'm ready for this one i don't know what it is but i i feel like from the cover it feels like one that i might have sent to himika to Tiffany, I'm not sure. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> Caitlin, you are literally smashing it out of the park. You have no idea how long this has been on my wish list for. Oh my god, this is about vampires. It's like set in sort of like I think it's Britain in like the early 19th century, possibly. I think from what i've heard oh my god this is so up my street this is from the same author that did uh pandora hearts i haven't actually read that yet because it's super out of print and really hard to find but this oh my god i am so excited <laughs> oh this this is literally just gonna be a 20 to 25 minute video of me gushing over everything so i'm sorry if you guys <laughs> didn't want to see that but this is what you're gonna get oh my god so let me read the synopsis rumors revolving around the book of vanitas a clockwork gr um, grimoire of dubious reputation draw Noue to paris okay it's in paris not england my bad <laughs> So this, this sounds like it's going to be up my street. I am so happy, so, so happy that you decided to pick this one up. Holy crap. This is definitely going to be one that I'm probably going to end up blasting through. And yeah, holy crap. This is so cool. I love the art, the coloured pages at the front. The art looks really nice. If you are a fan of Pandora Hearts, I should imagine that you are gonna really enjoy this as well because it's, as I say, it's done by the same mangaka. I am super curious to find out what happens in this. It kind of gives me, just from like looking at the um, art, it kind of gives me like a Dig Grey Man kind of vibe um, with like the Akuma and the Millennium Earl. That's kind of like the vibe that it gives me. I think that's why I'm kind of drawn to this. And the fact that it's about vampires. Who doesn't like vampires? Like for real, who doesn't like vampires? I think we've got, we've got two, two more. Okay. And it feels like a bit of paper. No, no paper. Oh, these feel thick. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out the next one. So, okay. <sighs> kind of nervous now. I feel stupid, but I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> this is too much excitement for one day. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, another space one. Okay, so I've heard a lot about this. Astra Lost in Space. So I've got two new space ones to the collection. Oh, I'm super excited to have a look at this one. Okay, let's see what it says on the synopsis because I don't know a lot about this other than it's five volumes long complete and it's very well liked in the community. So let's read the back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm super curious about this one. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I am really interested to see what this is about. The art looks super pretty. I'm not gonna lie, the art looks really nice. And I'm kind of curious to see how I get on with a, with a, like a true space kind of series because I've never tried that before. But I'm gonna show you, oops, some more art without looking down at the box. 
if that helps. But yeah, I'm so excited by this. Okay. Let's pop that one up there. Okay, this is the last one. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I kind of like, ah! Okay, this is the last one. Mm -mm -mm. Three, two, one. Oh, it's the second one. Okay, cool. Because I like reading them in like, the first two if that makes sense to decide whether or not i enjoy a series so this is perfect and oh my god it's a thick volume what the frig this is like two vo two normal volumes in one holy shit like what the fuck <laughs> but i am super super excited for this one can you see that like what is that about i think we've got some booty going on here but like what the actual <laughs> But the art style looks really cool. Okay, I'm 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 curious. It's piqued my interest, not because the booty on the back on the front, but because it's about space, and I truly do enjoy space series. Not space series, I haven't tried them, but I do truly enjoy learning about like uh, astron. Is it astronomy? Is it astron astrology? Astrology? Is that it, Reese? Astrology. Astrology. That's in space, isn't it? The cosmos. Yeah. the cosmos i like learning about the cosmos so i am truly excited about this one so yee! so that is what came in my box i'm gonna read the rest of the letter have you gone through them what do you think thought i'd share a little bit about the series oh okay junie tyson four volumes complete chinese zodiac meets battle royale mm -hmm. i've heard a lot about that i'm really interested about that because i love um chinese like mythology so like the chinese zodiac really interests me i think that's probably one of the reasons why i really enjoyed um fruits basket although that was like a totally different type of series to this this is definitely going to be more battle royale so i'm i'm really curious to see like what what it's about because it's two volumes long, no, oh, four volumes long complete. So we've got half the series. So let's find out. Astra. So five volumes complete. Love this one more than I thought. Okay. I'm definitely, definitely intrigued because I know that you have a, a variety of series in your collection. So I'm really intrigued to find out just what all this hype's about for this series. Case study, the case study of uh, Fanny Taz eight volumes ongoing vampires i mean who does not like vampires in paris eden zero 13 volumes ongoing the dude <laughs> same dude as fairy tale yeah same dude as fairy tale i'm i'm excited about that one because i've heard i've heard a mix i've heard mixed things but i've heard the majority of them are good so i'm definitely definitely interested in this and isn't it getting an anime soon i think it is right correct me if i'm wrong down in the comment section below <laughs> moriarty 14 volumes ongoing sherlock holmes retelling ish yeah yeah that's pretty much what i thought it was going to be but from the um antagonist the main antagonist moriarty point of view so i am yeah i am super curious to find out what happens in that series there so eee. radiant 14 volume song ongoing actually a mantra man mantra <laughs> uh, mantra instead of manga mantra because it's french i get it why am i such an idiot <laughs> <laughs> i did actually yes, i did anyway back to the video <laughs> so for the ongoing series not all of them have been published in english like moriarty has only <clears throat> had two or three if you've managed to read my handwriting congrats my <laughs> my mother can't <laughs> I hope you enjoy all your manga, <laughs> you wonderful person. Many thanks to you and Tiffany for including me. Oh, that's cute. I've actually, I've absolutely enjoyed doing this um, manga swap box and this collaboration. 
and I honestly would love to do some more collaboration with both you Caitlin as well as Tiffany as well because honestly it's literally just been so much fun especially the other night when we were like talking until what half past 12 at night like quarter to one about places to buy manga and random stuff like that it's just been so much fun talking with you girls so yeah thank you guys so so much for doing this collaboration video thank you so so much almost dropped them then <laughs> thank you so so much for these friggin fantastic series i am so excited to delve into them they are going to be on my tbr for the next couple of months or the next the next month or so holy crap oh my god i cannot wait to see what you guys think of this video and i also cannot wait to see what tiffany thinks of her shonen box i'm kind of hoping that she hasn't got any of the volumes but i saw a post on or i saw her story on instagram and she might have one of them already or she's pre-ordered them so i feel a bit like ah so if i hope you like let me know because if you have got it then i would like to send you something in the replacement because i don't want you to have two of the same one so please let me know because <laughs> i kind of got one in my head that i would like to send instead if you have got it but i'm not going to tell you what it is just in case my video comes out before yours but yeah guys thank you for watching this video i'm sorry if it was a little bit all over the place i had fun collaborating with the fantastic girls here on youtube please 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 please, please do not forget to sub and watch the girls videos as well i had as, as i say i had such a fun time collaborating with them they are such lovely people in this community they are so like so welcoming so friendly to speak to their content is absolutely fantastic the collections are stellar like if you're interested in shoujo tiffany is your girl if you love a good isekai caitlin is your girl <laughs> or shonen she has such an amazing array of series kind of similar to mine we've got like quite a few genres however caitlin is definitely caitlin's um collection is definitely more diverse in her series she's definitely got a lot more of like shonen titles so yeah definitely go and check out their channels they will be linked down below as well as possibly in the card somewhere at the top but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video and i hope again that i didn't ramble on or anything like that but yeah i'm so happy and excited you guys don't have any idea <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell so you know when my new videos come out that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching i hope you guys are doing well and staying healthy until next time guys see ya bye bye